Alright, so in this video, what we're going to do is use, congru use corresponding parts of congruent triangles to do proofs. And in this particular case, we're asked to prove that uh, line segment FL is congruent to line segment HN. Okay. And you can see here I have a bunch of congruent little segments here. But I need to prove that FL and HN are congruent to each other. And what we're going to try and do is use congruent triangles to prove congruent segments, okay? which is a little bit backwards from what we've been doing. Okay? So when we have a problem this complex, we try to have a plan for proof. So my plan for proof is to, to show that HK is equal to FL, FJ, sorry, if FJ and HK are equal. And then I'm going to show that KN and JL are equal. And when I show that those segments added up, it will equal to HN and FL. Okay, now, that was a lot of letters there, so let's walk through this a little bit at a time. So first, the first statement that I can say for certain is that HK, so I can say HK plus KN is equal to HN, okay? and that's the segment addition postulate. Okay? So on one side of the triangle, on, on one side of the proof, I can, I can separate into these little, into these two smaller segments. Okay? Let me use a different color here. And I can definitely do the same thing with the other side. I can say that FJ, FJ, plus JL will be equal to FL. And that again is my segment addition postulate. Now I've got FL here separated into two smaller line segments and I've got HN right here separated into two smaller line segments as well. Now my goal or what I'm going to try to prove is I'm going to show that HK is congruent to FJ. Okay? So this is my, my new goal here is to show that HK is congruent to FJ. So I'm going to write this statement here. I'm going to say show show that HK is congruent to FJ. And the way that I'm going to do that is if we turn our attention to these two triangles, let me delete some of the stuff that I did earlier. Okay. If we look at these two triangles, F, G, J, let me use another color here, and show that F, G, J, and H, G, K, if I can show that those two triangles are congruent to each other, then I can say that HK must be equal to FJ. Okay. So let me try. Let me try and do that. And this proof is not too difficult to do. Um, the reason being is that I can quickly show it to be true uh, using side angle side. So let me erase this. Erase some of this stuff here. So you can see that F, G, and G, H are congruent. G, uh, J, G, and J, K are congruent. Okay, so let me write this stuff down. I can say that F, G is equal to uh, G, H. 
and I can say that JG is congruent to KG. And this is given. And one more thing that I can say is angle F, G, J, so this angle here, and this angle here have to be congruent to each other. And so I can say that uh, angle F, G, J is congruent to angle H, G, K. And this, and that's the vertical angles. Those are congruent due to vertical angles. Okay. Therefore, the two triangles FGJ and HGK are congruent. Underline the statement here. Therefore, triangles F, G, J must be congruent to triangle H, G, K. And my reason here is side, angle, side. And so it feels a little bit messy. My handwriting's not fully mastered yet on this uh, digital version. And since these two triangles are congruent, then the two sides, HK and FJ, are also congruent. So now I can definitely say that this is true. I can definitely say that this statement is true using CPCT or congruent or corresponding parts of congruent triangles. Okay, so I can show that first that HK and FJ are the exact same thing. Now my next goal, what I want to do is show that KN and JL are the exact same thing. So this is what I'm going to do next. I'm going to try and show that uh, H, that KN, I'm sorry, and JL are congruent to each other. Okay. So KN and JL have to be congruent to each other as well. And the, the, the method is almost identical. But let me write it over here. So I'm going to try and show that KN oops, show that KN must be congruent to uh, JL. And I'm going to do this using basically the exact same idea as I did before. And in the interest of uh, brevity, in the interest of time, we don't want to use too much time here. Um, I'm going to basically state that it's, it's the same idea as what we did before. Before we show the two triangles up here are congruent, now we're going to show that these two triangles, J, M, L, and K, M, N, are congruent as well. Okay, so I'm going to say that J. Oh, this is a bad color. Here, let me try a different color. Try purple. Okay. So I'm going to say J M L.
triangle JML okay, is congruent to triangle KMN. And my reason for this is once again side angle side. Since I have a side, these two sides are congruent. I can say that, and then these two angles in here are congruent because they're vertical angles. And then these two sides are also congruent because they are, uh, this is all given. Okay. Now since JML and KMN are congruent, then JL and KN must also be congruent by corresponding parts of congruent triangles. In other words, my reasoning, whoops, it's not JK. Let me rewrite that again. Oops. Let me rewrite this again. It's KN is equal to KN is equal to JL by CPCT. Okay? So I've shown two things. I've shown that HK is congruent to FJ, and I've shown that KN is congruent to JL both of them using CPCT or congruent parts corresponding parts of congruent triangles so since these two are congruent and these two are congruent then their sum must also be congruent as well okay. now I didn't write out all the proof in the entire of the all the steps in the statement and the reason but what I'm what I'm I want to show with this uh, video is the thought process or the reasoning process and if you understand the reasoning behind this uh, you should be able to write the proof and complete it